But one thing he has to be happy with is the play of Greg Paulus. What did you see from him today? See, I'm not quite sure what, what kind of crystal ball Doug Marone had and the one that he used during the first week of training camp. To know that this is what Greg Paulus was going to look like, to know what a guy away from football for five years, four years playing basketball, was going to look like week four. He looked like a seasoned vet. He looked like he knew when to stand in the pocket, when to scramble, when to make plays with his feet, when to look downfield, and when to just get it off to a guy and let his receiver make plays. Later on in that press conference, someone asked him, was there one play that really defined Greg Paulus in this game? He said, you know what, I see it in practice every single day. I think this is just the beginning for Greg Paulus. Yeah, David, you thought coming into this season that Greg Paulus would be the game manager, you know, really let Antoine Bailey, uh, all those guys in the running game really do work there. But he really kind of took control of this game in the third quarter. Syracuse was down 17-13. to 13. They had the ball on their own 12-yard line. Really had a nice dra- drive, distributing the ball between Mike Williams and other receivers, making plays. He really was the key for this SU offense. 11 different receivers caught the ball for Syracuse, and that's a testament to him going through his reads, making the right decision, not locking in on one player, but also give credit to Coach Spence and Doug Marone, the game planners. They have multiple packages for a lot of different players, and one guy in particular, LeVar Labdell, over the four years that he was here, one of them a redshirt season. Really, what did he do? He's now a factor out on the field. And Paulus seems much more comfortable out there today than he has in earlier in the season. Now moving on to the other side of the ball. Defense, not very good in the first half, but seemed to really turn it around in the second. What did you see from them? Yeah, I thought they were kind of taking a nap still on the bus there in that first half. Didn't really come out to play. They were so used to facing stars like Daryl Clark, Eric Decker, Mike Kafka. And they see a guy like Warren Smith lining up behind center for the main Black Bears. They're not really into it. They didn't play with the intensity I wanted to see them play with. But they came out strong in the second half. They made those halftime adjustments. And they really performed well in the second half. I don't look at it, Jeff, as the defense. I look at it as the offense played okay. They didn't have the ball. The defense played all right. But it was the special teams. You look at the two first-half touchdowns for Maine. One of them a 56-yard pass right off of an onside kick. And then that other touchdown to Williams as well. That drive was prolonged by the fact that Syracuse got fooled by a fake punt. The defense, to me, it's not so much first half, second half. It's stopping the run versus stopping the pass. Again, over a 300-yard passer in, in, uh, in Smith. He picked apart the secondary once again. To me, that's the bigger issue, saying first half compared to second half. It's not that for me. It's run versus pass. 